Hey, everybody. This past time for us. I'm trying to use a different stand here. You want oh. me to try to Hold fix on. it for you? Wait, wait, I think I, did I have it? It's not, not everything's touching the. What is the problem here? It's not all touching the counter, so it can't stay properly. That's why. Maybe this ain't supposed to touch the counter. It is. The tripod. Oh, I think I got it. Oh, good. I see one person. I see one person. I'm going to try to move this over where I'm at. I'm using a tripod right now. We'll see. We'll see. Let me try to move it where I where y'all can see me. Okay. There. And then down. I got to get used to this thing. Okay, y'all see that, I think. Even though you see it, I don't know if you're, I don't know if you're going to stay still. Stupid thing. Ugh. Stupid thing. I think uh, it's fine. It should be okay. Leave it. Do you see me? Not yet, because I'm not signed in. Okay. All right, I think, I think y'all can see me. I mean, it's definitely stopped. Okay, I think y'all can see me. I see three people and one thumbs up. Hi, guys. It's me. I got a tripod this time because I'm trying to move from here to the, I to the stove. Your, I don't think we can see your face. We can only see your shirt. That's okay. Y'all know I'm here. <laughs> I don't. I want y'all to see what I'm doing. Okay. I want you to see what I'm doing. All right. Uh, I like my other one so much better. Okay, well, huh, first of all, hold on. Because uh, I have to move around and I ain't playing with this stupid thing. So, all right. I'm trying to use a tripod. I just don't want to act right. <laughs> I'm talking to Perry. It, it's real hard to use a tripod. Unless it's going to be on one. It's easier with the, with the overhead thing. I, I mean, want... can't you lift it up? It looks like it goes up one more level. I don't know. See, and then it won't stay still. What the heck? I don't think it goes up no more. It does. Uh, oh, does it? Yes. And so why don't it stay still? You got the bottom. You got to pull the whole bottom up. What do you mean? Yeah, that goes all the way to the top. And then, and then you spread the legs out. Oh, it goes all the way up. Does it? Oh, the whole thing? Like, wow. Okay. Oh, right. thanks, Perry. Yeah, then you spread He's the a legs. wonderful guy. He knows all this stuff. Yeah. And that's how you stay still. Okay. Wow. Look how look how tall you are now. <laughs> cool. Are you on live now? Are you on? Yeah, yeah we we're on. live. Uh-huh. Right. We on. I want to just see if I can get it down. Uh, down a little bit more. Cool, look at this. I think I might be using this. All right. All right, I can see the food and I probably can see you when you are when you move back. One more thing, I have a Mevo thing that you can put up there and as you move, it follows you. A Mevo will follow me? Yeah, I got it. But don't do it now, you got to pack it first. Oh, okay. Yeah, like let's <laughs> do that another day. Um, can't see your face. All right, you don't, listen. Y'all can see me now, right? Ah, yeah, right. Here I am. So what I'm going to do today is I am going to make tuna patties. Somebody asked me for that, I think last week. And I looked it up, and I was like, you know what? That's pretty cool. And I think I want to make that. Yes. And though I have Perfect. never, who I have never, I have never made it before, so I'm going to make that. You guys, you see my gray coming in? I'm doing nothing to my hair except washing it and you know, blowing I it. You know, huh? You made tuna melts? Tuna patties? Yes. Shavita says she's made tuna patties before. I have not made them. So this is going to be my first time. And I saw a few things in there that uh, say, you know what? Let me give this a, a, a chance. Let me give it a try. And the reason I'm using this thing right now is because I need to get over to the stove. And I want y'all to see me when I get to the stove. But right now I'm going to show you guys. Oh, happy Sunday. <laughs> 
Happy Sunday! This is the last Sunday of February. We are moving on to March. I'll tell you, man, isn't that cool? I think it's cool anyway. So anyway, yeah. I am... Sarah, we can get to Juno's happy hour. Right, but I got Shavita with me today. She wasn't there last week. I got her with me today. And I'm going to put you over so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to try to get you in my bowl, if possible. We can uh, see the food. We just couldn't see your head. Does that, not make, does that make a difference to you? Okay. I think you should. I, I like you to get closer into the bowl. Maybe. Uh, pinch it and bring it down. And there we go. There we go, I think. Looks good. Okay, here the bowl, right there. Here we go, just the bowl. And in this bowl, I got three cans of tuna, and I got that, um. What's in the other bowl, nothing's in here? Nothing's in here, not yet. Nothing's in here, I don't think I need to put anything in here. In this bowl, I got three cans of tuna, and I have these kind, because, they're from Costco. These are the Costco brand right here. That's the Costco brand, the Kirkland brand, and they're bigger than a normal can of tuna fish. So I got three of these in here. They're, they're uh, seven ounces, it says. But I, the other ones, I think maybe five ounces, the normal size, but they are bigger. And they're, and they're good tuna, and less expensive. Let me just make sure while I'm talking to y'all. Because I don't know I'm, I'm cleaning out my pantry so I don't see that. But anyway, the the, um, the normal size is smaller than that. So today I'm gonna I'm, I'm doing three cans of tuna. I put eight eggs in this. I put some dill in this, some celery in this, some onion in this, scallions in this. Hey Joy, how you doing? I'm making tuna patties. Yep, yep, yep. I am. So. <laughs> I got eggs in this. I got Parmesan cheese in this. We put some Parmesan cheese in this. Um, I got some peppers in this. So yeah, this should be pretty good. This really should be pretty good. So I, right now, I'm, I'm at the point that I put all this stuff in and now I just want to make the patties. That's what I want you guys to see until I get over to the stove. So here we go. I'm going to get a bowl or something to put these patties in. Not a bowl, but a plate. A plate, a plate. And, you know, before I do that, I want to make these seasoned fries. This is what we're going to have with it. We, I, we can have it on a bun, you know, like a tuna tuna sandwich or, you know. I, don't, I wouldn't have it on a bun. Okay, well, we could, well we're going to have this and some kind of vegetable that I got to come up with. <laughs> I don't know, you want peas or string beans? That's what I got. Um, I'll take string beans. Okay, so I gotta, gotta get the string beans on. In this case, this is some seasoned fries. And let me tell you something. This, these were two for five dollars at Stop and Shop. As you see that little Stop and Shop brand right there. I'm just, I mean, I like the other kind, but I'm just not gonna give these people my money. You gotta just, I'm gonna have to improvise and I'm not doing that, so. I also brought you. Some Parmesan black garlic seasoning. To okay. Make truffle fries, if you want. Well, that's so, what I want on mine. So I'm you going to. to put oh, that you, on you, yours. So you can put it on afterwards, right? Yeah. All right. So she really wants some of this on hers after her fries are done. So I'm going to stick them in the uh, air fryer, my uh, air fryer oven, right now. Okay. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do so you can see. Yeah, I had a really nice week. I'm sure you did. Chavita was off all week. Mm -hmm. Lovely. You know what? I went to work and I didn't have a bad week either. I mean. I, I you know. First of all, y'all wasn't going out. So who's that? Oh, that's you. That was me. So first of all, y'all weren't, you guys weren't going out. So there was no school and no old school buses and it, you know. Oh, yeah, the traffic of a school bus. Oh. Let me tell you something. If a school hires you in the summertime you're, and you're you start seen. working in the summer mm -hmm. and you do that summer commute and you're like, oh, this ain't bad. Mm -hmm. And then September rolls around and all the people are going to school. Mm -hmm. Horrible. 
Yeah, it, it, <laughs> our ride was like fantastic. This because nobody was going to school. So it was great, great, great. That was a good ride. Because I don't want to take the um, train. What's the calories on this? So should we just for, you know, well, giggles, look and see. There's so nothing in here. There's nothing this. in here but the tuna fish. No, I meant the potatoes. Oh. Are you not losing a whole bag? I don't know. I mean, I don't want you to crowd your air fryer, but I'm just asking you. I mean, do we know how much how much french fries you guys want? Oh, I had french fries yesterday, actually. Because oh. I had five guys. You, you have five guys? Yes. Huh, look at you. Boy, she really got five guys and everything. Huh? I had a milkshake. Oh, wow, you really ate. I really <laughs> did. You really ate. I had the, like, uh, bacon cheeseburger. That was pretty good. Yeah, you really ate. <laughs> Daryl had a regular cheeseburger. So I put some olive oil, I mean, um, avocado oil on here. What did Joyce say? I put some avocado avocado oil on, and I'm going to put this back in my air fryer. I'm going to put it in the air fryer, not back. I'm going to put it in the air fryer. Are you still thinking about the turkey? Oh, my God. We had a turkey sandwich. Was that later that night? Yeah, yeah. It was so good. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was good. I haven't had any more turkey since then. You still have more? Yeah, still some more in there. I might bring that for lunch. I gotta yeah, bring you something. You could. I'll put it in You still have peas or just turkey? I think just, I don't know. I don't think I have no more peas. I don't think. Uh, um, temperature. The peas are the best. Put it on for 25. Oh, you can go all the way up. She says I have to try to make it. Definitely, definitely. Yep. So there you go. I'm gonna let that go and cook. Now, are we air right. frying these? Yeah, those are air fried. Oh, oh no, no, no. no. We frying on them. We frying them on the stove. We're gonna put these on the stove like the old fashioned way. So they're ready now because it's got everything I need in it that I want in it, and it's been sitting here a minute, so it's got nice and it's nice and um, seasoned up, and. Somebody just said something. I don't know. Joy said, I made my cabbage soup yesterday. It was the bomb. I packed it with so many vegetables. Yeah, that's what you got to do. Like this too. This got vegetables and it got peppers and celery and onions and, you know, good stuff. You know, I put a little bit of season. I think I put, um, I forgot what I just put in that thing. Um, oh, I, oh, I tell you what, it's something I put on my eggs. It's, it's basil and garlic and um, basil, garlic, and oregano. I put I always put that on my boiled eggs. So Sounds yummy. So I always have that. I said, you know what, that probably worked for this. I don't even think I put any salt. There's no extra salt in it except for what we got for the Parmesan cheese. You know? So that's my little patty. It may not be perfect, but here we go. Listen. I'm going to put that perfect. in. I'm not perfect. Nobody perfect. God is perfect. God is perfect, and I'm just a person trying to get it done with His help. You That's work. it. That's it. Yeah. I try. I always try. That's good. I always, always try. So I'm gonna put this in, and and then put these little, put this uh, extra, extra breadcrumbs on here, and stick them in. First of all, I love tuna. I love tuna. So you do. yes, I love tuna. I, I so I can't I can't see that this can be good. What you say? How many cans? I put three three, three of the Costco brand cans because three the, large three Costco large the, you know the Costco brand is, is larger than the regular size. So and I put um, six eggs in it with three with three of those. To me, it felt you know it felt um, the the eggs. Made it feel a little, you know, more palatable. How, how can I say that? It, it, it felt less dry with the six eggs in it. So that's why I put six instead of, somebody else said they only put three in, like one uh, egg, um, one egg per can, per, yeah, one egg per can. But I just, you know, I, I put more eggs in it, in mine. It's looser. But you know, all you gotta do is actually add a little more breadcrumbs. 
and that will tighten it up. So I'm, again, I've, I've never really made it. I've made um, salmon, salmon croquettes. I used to do them all the time, but I never really made tuna. So the woman told me it was just exactly, basically the same as the salmon one, right? Mm -hmm. She might have even put a little bit of mayonnaise in it. Yeah, I've seen that you could put mayonnaise in it. It was I, good. But, I only ate it once, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, I think, I think you, I saw you and could put mayonnaise. And like the fact that literally that's all I really had in the house. So. Yeah. <laughs> That, well, sometimes, that's how we used to keep tuna in the house. Cause I mean, salmon in the house. Plus, mama, like, yo, this is what we got. We eating that. <laughs> that's what we eating. So, who's that? How uh, many eggs do you use per can? Dark night. Who's, who's the dark night person? <laughs> how many eggs? Two. Two for, for, the, for the Costco can. That's it. I don't know who the dark night person is, but they said... I never had tuna patties before, but my favorite lunch used to be tuna sandwich, homemade french fries that my mom used to make for yep. me. Yup. <laughs> That's why I said, this I looks think. Like, this that, looks so good. I will try this. That's why I thought, you know what? French fries go with this. <laughs> fries I mean, go with this. I enjoy a french fry. I, I oh, even no. I even I bought some um, um, buns if you want to put it on a on a roll or whatever. No, but um, but if you want to, I have it. If not, you don't have to have it like that. And it, like you know, tuna is low in calories. So first it of really all, is. tuna is one of the best things you could absolutely ever eat. So I figure that would work. You know mm -hmm. who always wants to know what I'm eating? Who oh. the students? <laughs> the students always want to know what you're eating. Oh, you brought soup? You, you mean soup? Oh. <laughs> They're always hungry, you know. They are always hungry. <laughs> they are always, always hungry. You know, so I've been, so this week I, I went out on, I went to work on Tuesday and Thursday. So, and then even though I don't love, I love to work from home. And I think, and I definitely get more done at home. But I didn't mind being out. I gotta say that. I didn't mind it. I, I didn't like getting up, but you know, once I get used to it, I didn't mind I didn't mind being out. I really didn't. I didn't I, I gotta say that. Um I'm gonna say that we um oh yeah, I went out to eat. I, I went to um cats. If anybody from New York knows what cats is, it's a deli. I a mean, Jewish anyone deli. from New York, anyone from that movie when Harry met Sally, right? Yeah. Because it's in Cat's Deli where she has that whole scene. Yeah. Well, uh, you but except, know, except you, you should know. Except yeah, except they have one in Brooklyn, so I didn't go to that Cat's, but they do have one in Brooklyn, so I went to that Cat's in Brooklyn. You know, you know what I'm gonna do? No, uh, yeah. I'm after I get to. Eh, no, what I'll are you go, planning on doing? I was thinking that I'll stop and go start the thing, but you know what? I don't know. I'm going to finish this. I'll just get another plate. That's what I'm going to do. Get another paper plate. Hold on. So I'll get them all done at one time. Sounds good. I always like your plans. Did you see the food from TikTok that I've been sending you in Instagram? I know. I have not seen Instagram. I've been hitting you up in your DMs and you never write me back. <laughs> because I haven't been on Instagram. <laughs> I, I hardly go on Facebook. I really, you, you know. You never I, write me back. Because I, I really don't go on there. I really am like not on just, there. Like our relationship is done. Well, first of all, you can't bother me during tax season. It's tax season. Oh my gosh. Like when is this going to end? April 15th or probably later. That's when you need to file one the last day. Did no, I give you anything? No, and I'm and I'm gonna look at them before then. So you know what this story is gonna be. So I as a matter of fact, as soon as as soon as the I house is closed. Literally meant to give you something. As soon as the house is closed, I, I want you I'm gonna look at it. So you you can prepare to pay. Because <laughs> you're gonna pay. So Lord, let's not let's not start this, this year off wrong. That's what you're really gonna do. That. Yeah, I know you don't, Me but you, but you're my, going to. It's my heart. But you're going to. Hello, Stephanie. I am coming in. Caught you on almost. Hello, oh, that's Judy. Hey, Judy, how you doing? 
How are you? I'm making these tuna patties today. <laughs> so, Judy? Yeah, it's cooking with Judy. Judy um, Caldwell. You see her? No, because I'm, I'm posting something. Somewhere. Okay. Sharita will say hey. My daughter will say hello to you. But I'm going to go back to Cats. So, Cats is a, is a nice, you know, it's, they got the best pastrami sandwiches in the world to me. And I haven't had it, of course, for, I don't know, since before, since before COVID, for sure. I haven't been out there like that. So I went to go get me one, and they gave us a little slice of uh, the pastrami while we were waiting, which was so good. Oh, man. It was so, with? me and Ty went. Huh. Me and Ty went out I to mean, take a walk. I mean, you could have called me. I would have met you. You wasn't coming out there. You never Why would know. you come all the way out there? She, uh, she's here. <laughs> Judy is out there. Go check Judy's channel out. The girl is she she be she be cooking. Girl, I like the I like your um your, your smothered um chicken wings that you made. Oh my god, it was beautiful. <laughs> Yo, it was beautiful. And and it's something you know my brother would exactly want it just like that. Except he wants he wanted me to make him uh some uh, pork chops like that. I mean, you know, with with the with, with the with the with the deep fry and and what is it that he wanted? He wanted the deep fry, and I certainly would have put in that bacon fat. Oh yeah, I would have did that. You don't make bacon fat, do you? Yeah, well, I, I make bacon all the time. I could easily get bacon fat, but I don't cook like that anymore. <laughs> I mean, at least I don't do it anymore. Then you can make something like that. <laughs> Maybe. I got. I'll, I'll, I'll consider it. I don't cook like that, and I don't eat like that anymore. He's not what saying every day. Well, he. Well, I will. I will consider just for for him because he, he said I don't eat it all the time. I just want it once. <laughs> so since I was home, you know, I saw, um, you know, Melba's the restaurant. Melba's. Yes, we, I think we should go there for Mother's know. Day, but not on Mother's Day. I don't know what Melba's is. Oh, but let me tell you, finish about my pastrami sandwich. So, first of all, when I got back to work, somebody was waiting for me, and they needed to have, give off me a whole story. And it, I didn't even eat when I first got back. So once I ate it, it was it was wasn't as hot as I wanted it to be because I like my food hot. But then, then after that, um, you have a microwave though, right? At work, yeah. Look, we had I had that, that thing was twenty years old. Really. Okay. <laughs> But then after that, um, I, I did have the sandwich, and I found the sandwich to be greasy. I found it to be really greasy. I mean, that's what made it good, but it was a real greasy sandwich. And it stuck right here, you know, stuck right here. And I forgot why I don't eat like that anymore. But I wanted to tell you guys that story. Now I'm going to move you over to the other side by the, by the stove, okay? So don't get dizzy. I got to move you around. Okay, I got to, I definitely gotta move you around. Let me move that first. Get that out. Okay. Come on. Come on. Here I go. First of all, I gotta turn that out and pull that back. Wow, that's very uh big. Very big. Yeah. But you don't necessarily it works good for the pan. So you don't have to really make it smaller. Okay. The pan looks good. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, was the pan looks good. Yeah, oh, okay. I was like, where are you plugging that in at? All right, guys, see? Here's the pan. Hold on a sec. I saw it in the way I had in here, but it's good. All right, that's the pan. I think we're going to fry it up with some olive oil. Are we? Or you want to fry it up with some butter? That would make everything better. Okay, I'm going to fry it up with a little bit of, a little bit of, or um, do Or the dish or something like that. Well, 
it's Dr. Oz's daughter and like some other people. Dr. Oz's daughter? Dr. Oz. Uh -huh. Who no longer has a show because he's running for city council. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I'm gonna be the next Dr. Oz. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I don't cook what I don't love. So I just don't cook it if I didn't love it. So I agree with that. And that's how it is. Now tuna tuna um croquettes. Now listen, I I, I can I can dig that. I because I like tuna. But I haven't really made tuna croquettes. I just make me a tuna sandwich. Because I love tuna. I mean, not even I like I tuna. Love tuna. I, I love tuna. Tuna hamburger helper or tuna helper. I like tuna. Like the tuna a bit easier. Yeah. Okay, see, now this is going. I need to turn it over. Okay, I think you're going to be. I think it'll be delicious. I think I'm not starving because that French toast is cute. All right, you see how brown that is, guys? That's a good brown right there. Yeah, man. Y'all, man. This is good. Look at that. I think this is going to be absolutely delicious. Something. Don't you love some fried chicken? <laughs> I mean, you because know, most. Well, I don't know why. I think most guys love fried chicken. They Darryl, love fried chicken. I really do feel like Daryl would be very happy if I like. We're you just made fried chicken fried for the rest chicken. of the world. But like, they they would eat fried chicken forever. <laughs> Most guys love it. Love that fried chicken. Well, my mom used to make it every single Sunday. We had fried chicken almost every Sunday. She would make fried chicken, or she would make cube steak sometime. I, I love like when she made. I like when she made the cube steak. But it was almost always that. Hey, Rosebud, you love fried chicken too? <laughs> I do not love no fried chicken. Mm -mm. No, no, I don't love no fried chicken. I just could, I could do without it. I could absolutely do without it. I'm, I'm a, I like fish. I like a lot of fish, but I could definitely do without fried chicken. Okay. I wonder so. if you battered the shrimp though in like the brown. Wait, when I tell, let me tell you, this smells so good. It really smells so good. I can see, good. I can see how you can put mayonnaise in there. That would help, help the situation. Told you. I can see how that could work. Yeah. I can see how that could work. Okay, let me get a bowl of stuff put in there. See? Rosebud says the patties look good now. Yeah, they really smell good too, man. They smell marvelous. You know, who knows? I might take something for lunch with me tomorrow. So, mm -hmm. I don't feel like, so I don't feel like I'm eating something too salty. Every time I go out, it's like, even my breakfast, man. My breakfast. Well, honestly, I mean, oh. at least you have options and places to go out to. Like, I work in a food center. I mean, there's Uber Eats, so one day, you can't get things delivered to you. But. One day last week, they had a, like a taco, a taco spot that, that sold, um, sold pork, pork tacos only on the soft shell. And, is and that the place that I went to that's across the street from your house? No, no, no. They no, haven't. That, that place is gone. Yep. It's like a ghost town out there, that too. That gone? That yeah. was a good thing. Oh, no. Good that place is gone. I don't know. I haven't had any reason to go, like, in that neighborhood. And, and I guess nobody else did either. That's why they closed. Half the places are closed out there for my, for my job. Half the places. Because I don't think everybody's back in that court street. Though. And nobody's going to try to go back in there. Like, I don't understand why they think people going to go back in there. Why? You know, we out here... You scared to just go, you know, just go to work. Come in, go in the door, go in the subway, because somebody might throw you down the stairs and try to kill you or something. I mean, mm. that's what we, we see a lot of that going on. Ain't nobody trying to get in there. About a lot. It happens. It's been happening more often. Maybe it's been more reported. I don't know that it's been happening more often. Do, do, you, do you know what they, um, the Long Island Railroad has? They're going back to regular price. They're going back to regular price, but they're not going back to regular schedule. What? No, right, exactly. They're going back to regular price, but not regular oh, schedule. Oh, Daryl is so hopeful that they're no. going back to regular schedule. No, no, it's not regular schedule. Regular, not no, 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 no. Not regular schedule. It's still what off peak. Mean? That means it's still off peak schedule. Like for me, it means I got to tra change trains in the morning if I take the train. And before, I didn't have to change no trains because I went so straight there's through. not going to be one train that goes directly to Atlanta in the no. morning anymore? No. 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 That's and really 
It's, it's really, you're making me pay full price. Not full. Cool. But now like, they don't have a 20, a 20 ride. Um, instead of, a, a 20 ride is like $200, and a 10 ride is 125 And the monthly is one, 235 I think. 235 or 220 225 or 235 So I'm not getting the monthly. I'm just going to get the 20 trip. And I may have some trips left over if I don't go to work every every day. Yes, transportation is still crowded. Yeah. I and guess. I don't... I don't it is still crowded. You still have to take, you still have to take the, the subway. I mean, you still got to take the car. But I you, mean, ain't, but you ain't going that far. crowded, but like... But you ain't going that far. You don't go you know, far. The other day, I watched the kids get on the bus because they left like on the bus. Yeah, $200 for 20 trips. Monthly costs $235. The so mo normal monthly. dollars a trip. But yes. It's like, and if you. That's kind of a break. And, 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 and yo, because if you. Individual tickets. individual tickets are like $25 one way. Yeah, Something like so that. It's a little bit of a discount. That's, that's what it costs. To go to doggone work every single month. It's ninety-two dollars for a monthly trans pass here. Rose, but I know I keep asking, but where again? Like I feel like it's so much cheaper to live anywhere else. It is. It, yeah, it is cheaper to live everywhere, everywhere else. And then you always felt they're not making you go back to work, are they? Like that for no particular reason. Other oh, tuna croquettes. They're not making you go back to work for no particular reason. Philly. Really? I would expect it to be more. Ah, I'm going to be closer to Philly when I move. <laughs> I'm going to be much closer to Philly when I move. I mean, How about that? I mean, you get a lot of, like, New York-like things in Philly. And that's, like, half the price for a monthly ticket. Mm-hmm. I've been thinking on that. Listen, I told you, you got to get out of New York. Do New I, York, New York is gonna go bankrupt. Do I wanna? You. New York is going bankrupt. Do I want to? Do New York is gonna go bankrupt. Cause we gotta be too that. close to each other in order to make the world go round, I guess. Which is not. They didn't figure something. There is another way to figure this out, but the only thing they know is what they knew, instead of doing something different. Mm. So that's why it's going to be what it's going to be around here. But ah, it's time for me to go. The only thing I miss, the only thing I really, I want to go to a concert. You know, I miss concerts. There hasn't been anything good playing. Um, Perry's friend just went to go see. Um, what did we go see when, when we went to Tropicana? For your it was uh. Boys and Men. Yeah, he went to see Boys and Men. Oh yeah, Man. they were playing the other yeah. day. Daryl told me. Yeah. They were at the garden. No, they, I heard it was at um, Barclay. At the Barclay? Mm-hmm. In Brooklyn. That's where I heard they were. Okay, I'm going to check my french fries while that's cooking over here. Okay, she, um, I think these are Cookie with Judy said she loves the little gadget that you're using to flip the cinnamon croquettes. Oh, the little... <laughs> the book... This is... um, What is this thing? This is my... uh, Spurtle. Yeah, that's my spurtle. I love my spurtles. I got a whole bunch of them. <laughs> I love them, love them. Who was I about to do? You have to lose my mind. Yeah. Oh, I'll check my, check my french fries over here. These are kind of done. Let me so, check my french. Are they crispy? I don't know. These ones are like crispy, crispy ones. Okay, well, whatever. I mean, I don't really feel like my fries from Five guys for that crispy yesterday, either. Are they, like, they usually are, though, aren't they? No, man, it's not that crispy. It's kind of like this. Hot. This is very hot. Like, what are you it's trying hot. to do today? It's hot. It's hot. I, will, I can't eat this right now. It's too hot for you? I'm going to need to, like, let it cool off. It's too hot for you. It's too hot for her. Let's tell, let me tell you. This should be... I'm going to taste one. It's okay? It's okay. Is it softy? Like really crispy, but. Is it softy? No, it is seasoned, but not the other, the other one that I had bought the other day was crispy. It was supposed to be crispy. Was it? You know, yeah, it was extra crispy, so when I made it, it really did come out real crisp. Because that's what it said it was going to do. I'm going to taste this. They had the culture tour 
New Edition and Bobby Brown, but you have to be vaccinated. Yep, you do. This is true, Rosebud. Yeah. I think. I think these tuna coquettes, they just need a little bit of tartar sauce or something. And they, they be all right. These are okay. What do you think? I like them. Tuna coquettes. This is, this is interesting. Mayo, yeah, the mayo would have gave a little bit more oil. Kicked mm -hmm. it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. But these are good. Belle de the Huh? Oh, it was Belle de the no. Who is that? Who is that? You know who Belle de is? No, I don't. What do you mean? No, I don't know. Who is that? Is they, the they have that song Poison. Oh, Poison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? But that's not the way the two men. Remember the last of the girls who were like, I don't know. The drunk girls who were at like whatever bridal shower thing uh -huh. where they were at. Mm -hmm. That was a fun time. We should go away together again. Just to cool up. I guess, I guess when they let me in, then they don't let me in nowhere because I ain't got no shot. And I ain't trying to hear that. They don't let me in. I don't care. I don't care. I'm Judy said she's going to watch the replay so she can see how we made those. I don't have, I, I had it all together though, Judy. So I'm no, going to do no, a video. Step by step. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a video on it. So I just, you know, I've been so busy. I've been... A lot of stuff been happening, Judy, over here. So, you know, I had to deal with my family and problems. You know, not problems, but life. So, so, you know, I haven't been doing videos because I've been busy. Plus, I, you know, plus I got a job, <laughs> and <laughs> and I also do a side job. I'll do taxes on the side. So it's been busy for me. So I haven't been doing a whole lot. I got to do some something else. But I'm going to get back to it as soon as I'm finished with, you know, yeah, I, even, I did a couple of videos. I just have to edit them. <laughs> I got to get to that part. But in the next few weeks or so, after, give me a month and a half, six weeks or so, then you might see me a little bit more. And I'll probably do that. Two months, really. Yeah. They're gonna the, I didn't realize that she was over. I didn't file anything people. Yeah, I got to do my own thing. Yeah. To do that. I gotta do my every own. Every year. Like they every year they don't know when taxes are meant. Yeah. The people I think that. Yeah, their folks folks are kinda like that. They don't know that tax season until the last minute. And then it's like, oh can I get can you please get this done before April 15th? Yo, dude. Then you got a bunch bunch of pommy. Not simple. You wait till the last minute. But I, I get that. I get that. That's what that's how it's done. And I, I expect it. I um, definitely expect it. So, I mean, since you've been so busy, you're not caught up on the new reality TV craze. I don't watch reality TV, young lady. Um, <laughs> you should watch it. I found it fascinating. Did anybody, you guys start watching uh, Bel Air? Did anybody start watching Bel Air? Really good show. Yeah, that's I mean, good. I really it's like it's like the French. I feel like I like it better than the original Fresh Prince. Don't at me, but like I don't know the the original one was just a little too goofy for my taste. This is like better. Yeah, it's easy. It's better. That the one, the new one. Did is, you ever watch episode four? No, you still only on episodes one, two, three, mommy. I, I I did. I think we watched one, two, three. I don't think I'll watch four. The fifth one is out, I think, yes. right? Yeah, you're, so you're two episodes behind Yeah, right two now. episodes behind. Maybe I'll watch I'm it. I'm all caught up on Sisters also. Oh, uh, you guys been watching Sisters? <laughs> I am not caught up on the Oval. There's some garbage going on with that one. The I'm sister. over the Oval. Like, I just, I feel like it's going to go the way. It's going to go nowhere. Show. Yeah, the Oval's getting the half stupid. The half and half now. I just stopped watching. I can't. Yeah. The guy with that gun. I'm Did like, you know why are you shooting him already? What a Netflix special that's out, Medea's Homecoming or something like that. No. Medea? Medea. No, I didn't know Netflix. that. Mm -mm. Sweet, I would never know that stuff. I don't well, that's what the girls told me when I was that friend today. I would never know that. I don't watch it. I don't like we're over Medea. <laughs> I like I'm Medea. Over her, I'm not over but... it. I'm not over her. I like Medea. I like oh, it. Then there's that other show on, on which the name escapes me now, but it's about the winery people. It's like a black falcon craft. 
Really? But that's not what it's called. You know, sometimes when you fire with a pan like this, sometimes the fire is hot on one side, more one side than the other. I, I especially in a round pan like this, it sometimes it works like that. So it never really totally covers the whole bottom of the pan. And this is a cast iron pan. So it just, it just works like that. You gotta keep an eye on where, where your hot spots are on your, on your, in your, when you're cooking. I know I watched you last video. She's on. Oh, thank you. Thank you, um, Judy. If it is, yo, there was, <laughs> it's a lot. There's been a lot of things going on here. Between that and, you know, th just that. That's a lot. That was a whole lot. And my brother, I'm going to say one Have thing. Have you spoken to him? I, I, I talked to him last week. week. No, I didn't speak to him this week. So my brother, so my brother and, and my brother and his wife, they like, that's all they had. They had no kids, and they were together for 30 years, and, you know, it's deep. It's, it's heavy. You know, so, you know, I, I know he's, he's got, he's going to go through a lot, you know, without her. Truly, truly. So, my heart goes out to him, because I understand better than most, and I'm always the first one, but I lost my husband first. So, I understand what that, that kind of you know, kind of thing is like after you've been with somebody for so long. Um, for me, it's almost since. For me, it was when I was a kid. We was teenagers together. So yeah, you know. But you gotta find a new you. You know, you gotta find a, the you that's without them. You know, that's what you have to do. They never going away, but it's just gonna have to be different. And you know, he'll he'll eventually, with God's help, he'll be all right. But it's just it's just gonna be hard. Look at this, I'm nearly done. What are we having with this? I gotta make something else. You said making a vegetable. <laughs> I didn't get to the vegetable so part. A vegetable. Yeah, I gotta get, I think I'm gonna make this. What'd you say, string beans or peas? I said string beans. You don't want no peas? It's how you're gonna make them with the sugar and stuff? Yeah. But how long is that gonna take? It's gonna take a few minutes. You're not hungry. I could eat. You know I only have breakfast. You know that doesn't last. All right, so then I'll make the string beans. Hold on, I got to get some string beans. I got to turn this down, too. Be right like that. Well, while she's gone, oh, let me tell you about Love is Blind. I don't know if anyone's watching that, but you really should be. Oh, well, maybe not should be, but if you like reality TV and things like that, I think that you will enjoy it. It's kind of like Married at First Sight, but not as professional. Like there are not therapists and people there to say like, okay, you're really compatible. Like you go into the pod and you meet people and if you feel like you have a connection with them, someone can propose to you within 10 days. And then, and then, you go on like a honeymoon to see if the like sight unseen connection can make it to a physical connection. And then you live together for like a month, I think. And then you have your wedding. Go on a honeymoon to see if you get married? Yeah. Some people chose not to go all the way. But some people like, I mean, you never saw them, right? Because you're living in your own pod. That's crazy. You don't like it? You would look, like if I was single now, you wouldn't let me go? No. Are you sure? I, I can't stop you, you're a grown person, but I wouldn't do that. I would tell you, I would, I would, I would go the against end, that. Yeah. Why many of the, many of the adults did not tell their families this is what they were doing. Yeah, because you, they know how and stupid. And they just popped up three weeks later in these. Yeah, that, they know how stupid, even, even if you popped up three weeks later, I didn't know where this person came from. You, I would. So I you should, wouldn't come to my wedding. I would be very. I would be very upset. You wouldn't come to the wedding, then. I don't, I don't know that I would do any. I, I would be very upset. You would be. I would be very upset, and you know it. I mean, I know you would be, but like, well, he was like the perfect person for me. Perfect person for you. You knew him in three weeks. You knew him in three weeks. Huh? I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, there were no distractions. There's no phones. 
so the what? internet, the computer, and, and you know, all this time you just talk. And then when everything comes back and you find out that they don't, they'd rather be on their computer or their internet or whatever the heck it is they do, then what? I mean, I don't know. Because that's not, that's not the way the world is. So what makes you think that that's going to work like that? Mommy, don't be... I mean, you got to use your common have, sense. Believe in having Prayer for your brother mommy. because when it's just you two of you. Yeah, that's it. That's right. My, thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you, Judy. Yeah, because that's the worst because you don't have nobody else. You know, he got us, but we not, you know. It's not like, it's not, I mean, everything they did together was like everything. They were like I best friends. They watch Love is Blind together. Yeah, they, would watch, they watched the same TV shows, everything. It was like it was like one person, you know. Yeah, he it's it's thank you. He you know, he's definitely devastated. And then, you know, and, and he's not he, they're senior citizens, like we are anybody over sixty five, basically we senior citizens. And we get to sixty five, we're a senior citizen for real. You know, so it's kinda hard, you know. I don't think of you as a senior citizen. I'm a senior I'll be a senior citizen this year. I'm a senior citizen, whether people want to believe it or not, I am. I am. <laughs> and it's harder, you know. That, I guess they don't want to call ourselves the senior. What we are. We're senior citizens. You are definitely senior citizens. So, you know, I, 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 it, it's, it's just it's very difficult to move on. But, you know, he may find somebody else. It's somebody that he wants to hang out with. I was thinking about it. I was like, I wonder if he'll be a dater. Yeah, he, I don't know. <laughs> oh. I literally was thinking that when I was on my way to Well, I certainly that. was a dater. I went out on dates. Many, many dates. And I kissed some frogs, I tell you. There were some frogs out there. <laughs> I'm sure I you kissed kiss more frogs than I did. I didn't kiss more, I, I didn't kiss more frogs than Sharita did, but I kissed some frogs, man, so... <laughs> They frogs when you got to go back out there and deal with these people. And it doesn't matter whether they're, it doesn't matter whether they're older. If they, whatever they was when they was young and they didn't get it, they still are stupid as they was then. So, you know, that's what you really, you really would think that they'd have more sense and everybody grew up and everybody, like, you know, got better. But, uh, nah, nah, it's not, that's not the case. That's not the case. If they are that and they didn't learn anything, that's what they that's what you got. You just got an older version of that. So well, it's sad. It's sad, but you know, you live and learn. That's the only thing I can say about that. You live and learn. True. So we're gonna we're gonna get this a little bit hotter. Cause I had it down low. So we're gonna get this thing down a little, so. a little bit hotter. So it can we can make this and then we can eat. We once again are not we're not, um... We're not on super long today. No, we're not on super long. Last week we weren't either. Um, I'm going to pinch this out a little. Okay, yes. I'm pinching it yeah, out. Thank you, those of you who are here with us. Yeah, I appreciate everybody that comes. And, uh, cool. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Rose, think but I'm, I do agree, Bel Air is fire. <laughs> I am an episode behind. I will be watching after. There we but. go. Now you can see Perhaps me again. I will talk her. Maybe I'll watch up here, but mm. she, you're not going to be disciplined enough to watch two episodes. So I don't know why I fool myself this way. Uh, when Sight E, I think I still got to finish one of my videos. And then I could watch some TV because I got to go to work tomorrow. I got to get up. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Oh, man. Me too. Oh, Jesus. I'm so Lord. Not that's Six o'clock. That's mm. really why I went to brunch today. It's like if I. Stay Get up, up. Yeah. and go out. Yeah. Will not, not go to sleep tonight. That's right. Yeah. That, that, the whole thing about getting up and going, you know, being up at 6 o'clock in the morning is the, is the worst of it. Now, now, and I do like, I, I, but when I'm up, I don't mind once I get up. But 6 o'clock is rough for me, you know. At my age, what I don't sleep. Do go to I go to bed. Well, see, since every other day we weren't going to work. So kind of, I don't really, I'm not on a schedule per se, but you know, like today, actually I was exhausted because I was doing that last week, I think. But truth of the matter is, I need my rest. 
Literally, I need my rest. And sometimes at my age, we just don't fall asleep like we used to. I mean, it's harder to fall asleep when you get older for me anyway. I, I just can't stay on a, on that schedule like that. Even before when I was going to work, I, I found it hard to sleep. Like, you get on that on the schedule and just go to fall asleep. And then I fell asleep. Then I woke up in the middle of the night. You know, our age does that to us. So it's hard. It's really hard to go just try to get some sleep before you have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Hence is why I'm going to be retiring. Because I, I, I can't be doing that. I need to get my rest. When I get my rest... I keep my weight down. When I eat properly, I keep my weight down. <laughs> when I eat on time, I keep my weight down. And work interferes with my life. <laughs> okay. That thing, that going out of my house to do some work, to do nothing really when I get there because there's nothing. I, I can do it from home and it's like, I can get it done like that. So I don't even know why I have to go into an office to do that. Except of course that's what... CUNY says that's what the city said, so I got to go. But it's not because I can't get the work done. But I can't, the, it, it wears your body out to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, go for almost two hours before you get to work, and same thing coming home. That's four hours of your doggone day. And you ain't did anything except travel. That is a killer. That's a, that little, that really is a killer. Whether, whether you, whether I'm on a train or whether I'm driving or, or you driving, if you had to drive like that, it is a killer. It can kill your like, body. So grateful to not be working. So Shavita doesn't work as far away as I do, but which is, it, it, it's, 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 it's great. She should be I grateful. I mean, like, you know. two weeks ago, three weeks ago, when they carjacked that person in the neighborhood on the way to work, I was like, traffic was really bad. Mm -hmm. It took me like an hour to get to work from here. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> you only work. She don't work that far from here, really. I was like, what is she truly hour? doesn't work that far. How long does it take you usually to get to work? I mean, usually it's about like a half an hour or less, maybe 25 minutes, five for parking, and then I just. So, so what a half an hour away that's 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 a good place to work half an hour away wonderful it takes but, longer getting home though sometimes i don't know why it's like because the school buses are out so stupid school time. buses that's why that's why but for me actually it takes a little bit less time going coming home than it does going to work that the school bus is like it's a killer everywhere you go it's a school bus but truthfully nobody needs to spend Four, three to four hours a day, or what, 20 hours a week. It's just a part time job. Know, like just get into work. work in. You know, nobody needs to do that. Nobody. You know, my mother used to say that to me. She used to when, when I, <laughs> I wanted to go in the city and work so bad. And she told me, don't do it. <laughs> she said, don't go out there. You know, you got a kid. You know, you got to be whenever she you needs know, something. So now, since we have to start actually hanging out in the city again. He doesn't want to feel like the only time he goes there is to go to work. <laughs> like, okay. but, well, you know what that means, my dear? He don't like the city. <laughs> he's getting to the place that what am I doing this for? That's where he's getting to. I'm telling you. He's, and, and because you don't, why are you going in there? Well, these people is dirty. It's dirty. I mean, we went into the city on Monday. We went for sushi. It was delicious. It, it was did everything you, I wanted it to be. Oh, you like the whole experience of being in the city? I yeah. mean, we got a good park, so that was good. I mm -hmm. didn't have to get on the subway. Mm -hmm. We went to the exact block of the restaurant, so I didn't have to pass a gazillion people, franchise people. People, any um, kind of people. People. And then there was a place for us to wait, mm -hmm. so we were able to like sit inside and wait. So I was cool with that. But then there's sometimes we go places and like, for example, today, the place was like, oh, this is not even in the city. But they were like, oh, we don't take reservations for places, for our parties bigger than six. So but we're like, but we're a book club. I'm like, we all want to sit together. So like we were sitting in the middle of like, what would be like the happy hour area. Uh-huh. At these high top tables. I'm up all night long going. Well, she said she's up all night long. 
Oh, <laughs> that, yo, if I thought, if I think I thought well, that's what you were going to say. That's what I thought you were going to say. That's another thing. You got to go to the bathroom. You got to get up and go to the bathroom. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, you're not old yet. You know, the older people, like, your bladder is your bladder's not the same. Your sleep habits are not the same. You, I for, mean, I'm for, not a good sleeper. But for, like, for me, for, for you know, I'm, I'm menopause, I'm postmenopausal, you know. So, you know, the whole, everything has changed than when I was younger. And I don't, I need my sleep. I need my sleep. I just do. You know, I don't mind. Six o'clock is too early in the morning. Let me tell you something else. I do not, I do, I absolutely do not like getting up when it's dark outside. I well, cannot it's function. At six o'clock anymore. Uh, it's dark when I went. Six o'clock, that's still Barely. dark outside. It's still dark outside at six o'clock in anybody's doggone morning. I don't like getting up and when the sun is not out. Bringing up soon, actually. But then once, they, once that happens, it's going to be dark in the morning again. It's going to be dark in the morning again. Yeah. I, yes, yeah. yes, it will. It always it's, does that. Confused. Yes. When they, when they switch it back, it, it, it's, it gets dark again, and then it finally gets light, and then it's okay for a few months. Then it's back to getting dark again. So, yeah, it's going to get dark. It's going to be dark again in the morning. And I don't like being up. I don't like that. I need to sleep. It's the funniest thing, Judy. It's the funniest thing. <laughs> you can, it's like, it's like a right around 5 o'clock. That's when you can fall a heck of sleep and be sleep for a good four hours. That's the perfect, <laughs> it's like, and you got to get up at six o'clock. I agree with that. Oh my God, it's like, what, it's like around five o'clock in the morning, 4.30ish, when you go to the bathroom that last time, and you get back in that bed and you cuddle up and man, you out. <laughs> I mean, you sleep till nine o'clock, sleep. Now I can, at nine o'clock, I can get back to work because I can look on my phone and start working from home. <laughs> but I gotta get on this, I gotta get out whether I take the train or whether we drive, whatever. Oh, <laughs> it's awful. I get up at 5.30 each morning at eight at night, I'm done. <laughs> I mean, but then you yeah. can't watch anything. Yeah, yeah, but right, you, you done. Yeah, at eight, eight, you are done. You, you, but it's good that you can get up at 5.30, girl. Every morning. That's so good. So you, like, always go to bed at 8 o'clock and you're okay with that? You know, my sister, my sister Frances, she, she goes to bed early. She always did. She went to, she went to sleep early, always, and she gets up early. And she stayed on that schedule and she's still on that schedule. Now she gets up because she, you know, she needs to get up and stretch and so she goes somewhere so she can, because she's retired, so she goes somewhere and she does something all day long, which is good. That's good for her. But I am... I need to sleep. I like I sometimes. First of all, I do a whole lot of stuff. No, I, I hate going even, so it's early. Funny because, like, in my work, it's my work schedule. Yeah, I get up at four thirty. And it's dark. Yeah, who want to be up when it's dark? Yeah. Who? I, I I I listen. I don't even want to. If I if I had to work at night, I think I could almost. You could just nearly kill me. <laughs> I can't work at night. I. It's dark. How does somebody do that? And, so, and that kills people too, the people that have to work um, at night. Because they're on a whole different schedule. And you know, your body's used to the sun, you know, waking you up and everything and being up. It's hard I feel to be like I up. I would be a great night worker. I'm not a daytime person. Um, I feel I could be a vampire. Maybe I'm not. If you, if you, can you sleep all day? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think that's good. I don't think that's good. Because you ain't going to get up at night and do some exercise. You're not doing that. I will. I actually exercised at midnight the other day. You are nuts. I am not nuts. I was free. <laughs> I felt energized at the time, and I jumped when, on my peloton. When you, when you, when you do that, when you, well, at least when I exercise at night, I really can't go to sleep. I can't exercise at night. But now, of course, since I'm going to work, I take myself outside. Winter makes it so much worse. I work from 6.30 a.m. to 4. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got to be at work at 8.30 to 4.30. But I'm up at 6 because I got to get there. So, <laughs> it's, a, till it's like a 6 to, when I get home, about 6, 6.30. So, that's like, that's a very long day. And at 6.30, I will not be cooking. Mm -mm. So, whatever. I might eat whatever. And that's. 
that is just not good for me. It's like my whole, my body don't my body can't take that no more. When I'm home, when I'm working from home, maybe I know what I'm gonna cook up or whatever. So I already got it out. So as soon as 4:30 come, I could cook and I could eat by five, five thirty. I can eat by five thirty. Eat by five thirty, and then it gives a chance to settle in my stomach. Don't try to come home and start eating at seven thirty. I think you want to get up and go to bed after that. That thing sits on, especially me. I mean, us older people, I think, that stuff sits on your stomach. Before, I had no problem with it. I can't do that anymore. That's why I told you about my, about the pastrami sandwich. It was a great sandwich, but it went right here, went right there. It's right there and it's stuck right there. The grease and the, the, you know, the pastrami, oh my God, it sat right on my stomach. Me either used to have to be at work at 4 30 in the morning working at the hospital and cafeteria fixing breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> thank God for retirement. I'm ready. I'm ready. I am so ready. I just want to get this year done and I'm and I'm so ready. And then I'm I'm done. I'm I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Uh, my main meal was lunch. I'll come home, take care of the pets, and go. Yeah, I'm realizing too. I can't eat when I get home. So I bought me some cereal, which I never really eat. But if I get, if I feel a little bit munchy when I get home, I'm going to have like a bowl of cereal. And cereal is not necessarily good for you in the evening. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not good for you in the evening. But at least it's not, it won't sit on my stomach. But I can't eat a whole lot of stuff at night like that. I, I, I can't, otherwise I'm really not going. I really don't like to do it even when I'm home and I've been like doing almost nothing. I don't like to eat too late. Uh, yeah, yeah, you see, you can't, yeah, thank you, um, uh, Judy. You really can't do that. Oh, I am right there, man. Like, I can't do this. Like, what? And you know exactly what's wrong. Now, let me tell you, I've been, I was cheating a little because I was eating my snacks and stuff. And I stopped eating. I'm, my favorite is I have to sleep sitting up. Yeah. No, no, no. I know, I know. You know, but Perry could eat all night long and don't bother him. I can't do that. I can't eat. Oh, I can't. I can't. Are you don't. sure it doesn't bother him or he's not saying anything? But he said it don't bother him. He said don't bother him. He'll eat everything. It don't seem to bother him. I can't sleep. It goes right up here. That was years ago. I really noticed that. I, I used to drink some soda or orange juice. I love orange juice. But that acid would go right in here. And at night, it would come right up in here, just like, what the heck? It was the orange juice from the acid. Or if I drank a Pepsi. One time, I thought I was having a heart attack. Because I drank Pepsi at night and laid down. And that thing went, oh, no. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I hardly drink soda. I don't drink orange juice. Because I don't want that thing coming back up here attacking me. Because <laughs> it'll, it'll attack me. I love orange juice. The orange juice don't love me. If I have orange juice, I must have it in the morning. I can drink it in the morning. I'll be okay. But that orange juice will come to attack me. I mean, I, you know what I'm saying? I drink water. I drink water almost all the time. I don't drink nothing else. Really hardly. Every once in a while, I like to have a little something with, as Perry says, some flavor. But I can't, that thing, mm -mm, no, it's not, it, it don't like me. It don't like me. Man, I told you, I thought I was having a heart attack one time when I had, and I was in my 40s then, and I drank some Pepsi. I like Pepsi. Drink Pepsi, oh, oh, I thought I was dying. <laughs> I thought I was dying. And I told my boss that at the time, and he said, yep, I get the same thing. You know, <laughs> he, he, he know, because again, we, we both, I think he, it took him a couple of hours to get to work too and come home. By the time he, and he went, he would eat a sandwich or something cause he, and he never left the desk. <laughs> he just made me laugh cause I thought it was just me. No, it's me too, it's all of us. When you get older, you cannot eat that stuff. You will think you having a heart attack. That's, that gas is too much. It just, and then I had my potato. I had potato, I love potato chips but I feel a little my stomach start bothering me then I couldn't put my finger on what it was and I stopped having potato chips for quite a while but then I found because I went to um to Stu Leonard man they had the best potato chips and I was killing those things 
I stopped going and I stopped. I left potato chips alone. If sometimes I want to eat a little snacky thing, so I'll eat something that I don't. I know I don't love. So I ate. I, so I, you know, I have pretzels. I'll eat pretzels, but I don't love pretzels. But I'll eat it just to like satisfy me a little bit. And let's you don't. So know. so that thing. No, I oh, love that. Uh, well, do you not love that? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. Let me show you. This and this. Well. Terry's grandson came home with this. <laughs> he came home, but he had the regular ones. He had some Fritos, and that just turned me on. So I said, let me go and still get some Fritos. <laughs> and I'll eat them, and those are good. Those are good. Boy, it's not the love. I love potato chips, man. Love them. So I had a Stu Lennon brand of potato chips, and it was really, really good. I had to, I had to stop getting them because me and Perry would tear the whole bag up. So I saw these things here. I saw these, hers, right? Those are good. And I didn't know I never tasted this brand. You this, I never tasted this before. Huh. What, once I tasted these, I was like, oh God, Stu Lennis is back. These things are good. I ate the, almost the hair, almost the bag yesterday. What <laughs> I, were you doing? I was just eating. I ate them. You know, yesterday I had like a, I had a sausage sandwich. Yeah, a smoke a smoked sausage. Yeah, I had them on a roll. Had two little like a frankfurter. I had two of those and some and some coleslaw. Not I mean um sauerkraut. I had I had that for dinner and I was eating these things. Mm. Oh my god! But I told you something. I felt it last night. I could feel the bubbling and I was like, oh, those potato chips. I can't have them. <laughs> I can't, that's, I guess, and, and it could be the oil. I probably already always have been that way. Maybe that's why I don't like to it's eat. It's five points for 17 french fries, by the way. Okay, well, I, I don't know how many points. I'm just going to eat. So, for, for me, for, for me, I think grease bothers my system. So, maybe that's why I'm not a lover of, I'm not a lover of fried chicken, you know, or fried pork chops and I mean I used to eat it but I'm not a lover of it because I think it really bothers my whole system so I kind of just don't I avoid it because anytime I don't want to not feel good <laughs> anytime yeah. I don't, don't want to not feel good and if food is making me not feel good I ain't gonna eat it I'm gonna cook it some other kind of way where you know it's a good thing it's a good thing I'm I'm, I'm conscious of salt because I mean I am because of my, my mother because she really couldn't have it but I think, because sometimes I'd be telling Shabita, needs some more salt, needs salt. And I need to watch it, you know, so it's a good thing. I've been air frying. I can't do grease either. Yeah, I can't do the grease. I can't do the grease. I can't, you know. So I, I, I even bought me some whitings yesterday, the day before yesterday. And I decided not to make it. I put them in the freezer. But even then, even when I, I want me a good hot sandwich, I can't drink anything after six if I do yeah yep yep that's another thing too judy that's right so like when i'm at work i gotta be i gotta between everything i gotta i gotta time when i drink my water because if i drink my water after i took my water pill my, my my blood pressure pill i am in i got to run to the bathroom run to the, <laughs> i gotta run to the bathroom so i gotta time when i drink my drink drink my water and then because I'm telling you, it takes two hours to get back home. So it is like you got to time everything. You, and then you're not drinking when you're supposed to drink. You're not eating when you're supposed to eat. I get up in the morning. I have nothing to eat until I get to work. And then I eat. I have, some, I have one cup of coffee. Hi, hi Santos. Uh, what, I'm, what I cooked today was some um, chicken, I mean, excuse me, tuna croquettes or tuna patties. They're already done. They're right here. I'm almost done. They're already done. And uh, and I'm, I'm munching on them a little bit. That's okay. You can go back and, and, and see it. I'm just glad you came, Santos. I'm glad. I appreciate that. I, pre I really appreciate that you even came. That's good. But, I, but now we're talking about older people <laughs> and us trying to get through because Yo, you got to watch when you drink something so that you don't run to the bathroom when you go. And there's some bathroom that's not there. And don't try to be going to the bathroom on transit, okay? Man, mm, it's time for me to retire. Uh, I was here last time when something spilled on. Oh, 
Oh, you were, yeah, I think it was, that was, yeah, that was a while ago. I was doing um, lasagna. That's when, when it beat the, <laughs> real life, man, real life. <laughs> that was real, real life, yeah. That happens, hey, that's how we cook. <laughs> yeah, that was for Christmas time when I, because I haven't been making so many of these. I've been having other issues going on in, in my family, so I have, I was, I just came back last week. But I appreciate you being here, but yes so retirement is for me retirement is for me working from home is for me doing special little projects that i could do and make money which i can i'm going to do because I, I i can do a lot of other things and i'm going to work on my youtube channel more because i'll have time and i can plan things out and do a lot more with it so that going back and forth to work for two hours for four hours for 20 hours a week and that's a part-time job I'm going to make it into something else. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> he going to help me make it into something else. I know he got something else planned for me, and I'm ready for it. So I'm going to be, that's, that's, I'm just happy that <laughs> the fact of the matter is you go, wow, I don't have to go to work, and I can make money. Somebody going to send me a check. <laughs> it's it amazing. You're like, whoa, somebody going to really send me a check? I don't have, wow, I don't have to do that. <laughs> it's amazing. Well, it's going to be like about a year from now. It's going to be about a year from now. When my house gets done, that's going to be my retirement date. When they say, when I sign for that house, that's my retirement date. And I'll let y'all know. <laughs> I'll let you know that progress. I was just saying, this morning I was telling, talking to Perry. Because I had to, yesterday, I was looking for a comb. Um, I do too lace at my favorite. Yeah. Oh, lazy your favorite. <laughs> yeah, lazy are good, man. <laughs> but you should try that brand. If you find that, oh my God, you're going to be in heaven. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> you don't want to try that. But potato chips is my thing. My, oh my God, I've always been a potato chip person. But, um... I had popcorn the other day. Yeah. The yeah, popcorn's okay, but I'll eat that, but I want potato chips. I... That's my thing. Always has been. Potatoes has always been my thing. But um, what was I going to say? Oh, me and Perry was talking this morning. Yesterday I had, to, I had to go in my linen closet in my bathroom. And I was looking for a comb for my blow dryer. Couldn't find it. Couldn't find that thing. Perhaps popcorn. I prefer popcorn. She said she prefers popcorn too. Now, I really like kettle corn. Well, that's Microwave. Well, if, if that's the one with the sweet one. Like sweet and salty, yes. Yeah, I like, if I eat popcorn, I want that one. But anyway, I, I said to myself, I got to go in here and see if I could find this cone. So I moved something and everything fell out. And I said, ugh, to myself. I said, okay, I'm going to straighten this out right now. So I took everything out. I couldn't find my cone. It wasn't there. But I got a bag full of garbage that I didn't even know was in that closet. Could you imagine what I'm going to have to go Did through? Did you throw it away to, immediately? Yeah. The stuff I didn't need, I threw out. What, is, what was in there? It was old stuff. Like old medicine and all kinds of stuff was in there. You know, I like homemade. Well, that channel get nauseous. that oh, she, you get nauseous off of microwave popcorn, wow. So I said to myself, I came out with a whole bag of garbage. And Perry saw the garbage. He said, wow. Then, he, then it, the bug hit him. And he saw some shoes he don't like or he don't wear. So he threw them in the garbage. I said, you know what we're going to do? Once a week, we're going to throw a bag of garbage out. Just all. We, we, you're not saying we're going to do it. But once a week, we're going to throw I, one I'll bag of garbage out. Yeah. Once a week, so you, we you, you throw a bag of garbage out. Right. Exactly, because stuff you know you're not gonna ever look at. You got some I, we. I got so much stuff that I don't. You know, I, I got a lot of stuff. Well, that's I what forgot. That lady on that other YouTube channel that you keep sending me. Yeah, she. And she, she, she you're supposed to like. Yeah. Take an area and just throw out a bag of trash. Yeah, that's it. Just do like take thirty minutes. I mean, even even clean it. Just take thirty minutes and clean it. All you're gonna do. It's just clean the bathroom. I mean, not clean it thoroughly, but clean the floor, the toilet, you know, a few little things. Clean it. Not thoroughly, but just once a week. Persian is one thing, but every single week, throw something out. Throw it out. Because you got junk that you just made. You busy and you didn't want, you just, you didn't get to it. It's there. Once a week, I am going to be thrown. Because, first of all, it's going to help me 
if it, I am going to move, but even if I wasn't going to move, it needs to go. So once a week, once a week, I'm going to have a bag full. If it's going to be clothes I'm going to throw out, I don't know, but I'm going to throw out something. Well, I'm going to work on something and once a week get one bag of stuff that's going to be gone. So that by the time I'm ready to move, I'll have a few things that, you know, I'm going to be doing. And then there'll be this other stuff that I want to keep, but I ain't using right now. Then I could pack that up. But if I do that, it's going to be like, okay, yes. I, and then I know where my stuff is. Because, you see, I thought I had some toothpaste. And I really, I think I have one more pack of toothpaste. I didn't, I, I couldn't find it. I didn't see it. But I have one pack, and that's it. I have a lot of Band-Aids. <laughs> I have bought these things. Uh... You retired at 50, had a foot surgery, and wow. Oh, gosh, I wish I could have retired at 50. Oh, <laughs> I wish I could have. Yeah, the clutter bug, that's a good one. I wish I could have. I wish I would have. I could have I retired, though, at 62, and I really should have. But, you know, I was comfortable. I, I was used to doing what I was doing. I was even used to going to work and staying late and coming early and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I was, I I was used like to it. The pandemic that happened, you might yeah. not have noticed. Yeah, the, I, I wouldn't have really noticed until I fell down dead. Because That's once good. because once once I stopped going all the time, I really, really realized that I was sick. You know, my blood pressure was going all over the place. You know, and of course I had COVID. But that didn't help. You know, and it was, a, you know, and my knees, oh my God, my knees was killing me, which is why I was buying Band-Aids for my knee, like to wrap it. I had a whole bunch of them in that closet. I said, look at all this stuff I got. Toothbrushes galore. I, could, I said, I don't have any toothbrushes. I have a whole lot of toothbrushes. I didn't see the stuff I got in there. I said, and soap, I thought I didn't have no soap. Plenty of soap, got everything, really do. But I organized it, and I know what I have in there today, and I'm going to keep doing that and throw stuff out, you know. I mean, sheets and towel, whatever. Things that I am not going to use at all, it's gone. That's what, oh, no, I'm glad you're doing okay. Yeah, yeah, I, yes, I did. I had COVID, and I tell you, when I, and I tell everybody this. I had it from December of 2019, and I found out in April of 2020, and I got rid of it maybe May or June. So I really had COVID for six months straight, 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 straight. Because I know I had it in December. I was sick. But I'm walking around. I didn't feel good. I couldn't breathe. But I'm going up those stupid stairs at transit. And I'm like, why? I, can't, I get to the one level. I'm like, whew, I got to stop. I'm like, Jesus, I, I, gained, I gained that much weight. I had to stop. But I had COVID. And I couldn't breathe. And I didn't know that I couldn't breathe. Next thing you know, I'd have been done. I'd have been done. I'd have been gone. Because I didn't even know I had that thing. And I also, and that's because I was run down. That's all because I was run down. I, I, my vitamin D was low. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I, now I'm on vitamin D, vitamin C. I take zinc every day. And I take it every day. Yeah, I went, yo. You just keep going. You don't know your body saying, hey, what are you doing? So I'm like, no. That thing, of this COVID has told me that's enough for this. This is enough. Like, so, so I made a couple of dollars. I'll be dead. What good is that? Uh-uh. No, we ain't doing that. <laughs> no, so what? Mm -mm, not doing that. No, mm -mm, nope, nope. I'm going to try to have, like my brother said, he said, we did our hustle. <laughs> he said, we got whatever we got, and it's going to be good. It's going to, God's going to help us with the rest of this, and stop this and let somebody else go do that. We can't do it no more. And that's how, that's truthfully the truth. Y'all young, young people, y'all can eat all times of the day and night, eat McDonald's and all that crap, and y'all good. But eventually, that crap is going to catch up to you. And eventually, it's going to be, what is that song? When you have heartburn, something, dot, 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 dot. Diarrhea, <laughs> that, 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 that commercial with Pepto-Bismol. You need to stop eating that stuff, and then you won't have that stuff going on. You have, the, you have a, um, you, you eat pizza. I mean, even pizza, man, you know, you know, the pizza in New York is to die for. <laughs> it is good. It is it's really good. But I, and I may go get me a slice of pizza, but if I eat it with pepperoni, with pepperoni, 
But and I only eat one because when you said maybe I might eat two or three slices of pizza because that's all I had. I know, you I know, you know? Did, the kids ate four slices of pizza. Yeah, pizza I would at least. I was like, oh, I would. I would at least goodness. have two slices of pizza. But that pepperoni, right here, right there. So if I eat that, I have to eat it before, let's say one. If I have it for lunch, maybe one thirty. Then that's that. You're right. I eat chunk all the time. <laughs> you got to stop it. Because if you don't stop it, your body going to be going, what do, What are you doing? You mean laying down and this stuff comes right back up in your throat? It's because of what you eating and when you eat and how you eat it. Stop it. Do you want to feel that? No. <laughs> That's all you got to do. <laughs> Pepperoni is not, death to me. No, 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 no. Yeah. The, the beans are done. So I've been, done. Yeah, everything is done, and I've been yapping, yapping, yapping. And so I'm getting hungry. So yeah. Shavita is getting hungry, and the French fries are done. Everything is done. We'll make you her a plate, and you guys will see what I made, how I, I, how I, what you got here. You want this a little warmer? Of course I do. Okay. Now it's cold. Yeah. Now it's kind of cold. So you want one? How Two. many croquettes? Two. You want some um, tartar sauce or something with it? Do you have? Cocktail sauce? Yeah, I have cocktail sauce. That's what I would like. Cocktail sauce. Cocktail sauce with these. All right now. All righty now. Let me get the fresh one right now. Come here, come here. Hmm. Uh, I love that sitting around my, my, my uh, stove right there. I know you enjoy that. Yeah, that thing has been very, it's always handy. It's been real handy for me. You know what? That's hot. I'm going to just warm these up. That's still hot. Let me warm these up. Give it 45 Are seconds. Are you going to make those during Lent? Oh, Maybe yeah. That's a good time. That's a good time to make them. Yeah. Lent is perfect Maybe. for that. It's seven yeah. weeks till Easter. So Lent starts in like a week and a half. Yeah. Lent does start soon. That's right. That's a good, a good thing to have. Perfect. That's why I saw a, I saw a commercial. I mean, I saw a video, and a lady was making them for Lent. She was because you're not eating meat, so fish is perfect. That's perfect, and these are really good. These are really really good. <laughs> Soon I'll be able to go back outside. Although I do go out now, cause I get I, even if it's cold, I'll go for a walk. So when starts this Tuesday? Oh, it starts Tuesday. Wow. Well, get ready. Cause this is 45 seconds. That's hot. That's hot. Yeah. That's hot. You get some French fries. French fries and string beans. And I'm gonna find my. There we go. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Okay, guys. This is her dinner. That's it. I'm going to give it some uh, cocktail sauce. And there she goes. And there's hardly not The calories are right there with those french fries. That's not bad, right? The calories are right there with that french fries. I guess. There's no real calories in there at all. Let me find the cocktail sauce. On my Weight Watchers personal points, fish doesn't count as calories for me, so. Oh, does it? No. Oh, you want a different plan now? It's personal points. Personal points? Yes. That's what they call it? That is what they call it. Hold on. I know I have cocktail sauce. Hold on, guys. I gotta find my cocktail sauce. But I, I actually saw a new jar. So I'll just go get this. Make for a lot easier. I'm going to find my new drawer. Um, it's, it's someplace in that refrigerator. This is why you got the clean. And I have, see? Here we go. You know what? I just saw some cocktail sauce. Down some cocktail sauce right they here. They say it looks great. Happy Mardi, Mardi Gras. Let's start Tuesday. <laughs> oh, let's start Tuesday. Oh. I thought Tuesday was Fat Tuesday and wouldn't start actually on like Wednesday, on Ash Wednesday, but I could be wrong. This, that's kind of, yeah. 
So S Wednesday, S, 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 this is Wednesday, is S March Wednesday? 2nd. I just oh. pulled it. Oh, okay. It's like, and some cocktail sauce. This should be good, especially with the cocktail sauce. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, All right, sure guys. Oops, Wednesday, sorry, she said. All right, guys, I appreciate all of you guys. I've been here an hour and a half. <laughs> and now we're going to eat so I can edit this video or whatever else do I got to do. Because I got to get up. I got to be up at 6.30, 6 o'clock in the morning. So it is fine. what it is. <laughs> Thank you for coming, Judy. I appreciate it. I really do. I really, really do. You, we, I got I to gotta go down. I got to go to Alabama and meet you. <laughs> And thank you, Santos. I appreciate. I, I appreciate everything. I appreciate all you guys. I love y'all. <laughs> I love you guys. You know, you. I don't even never ever thought that I would have such a good time doing these videos <laughs> and, and, and and recording them and keeping them. You know, yeah. Go go check Judy out. She's cool. I'm telling you, the girl is cool, and her music is out of sight. Beautiful. You like I like her music. I, I really like her music. So yeah, but I I never thought I, I I I'd enjoy this so much. And I also do this too for my own record, so I remember how I cook something because I cook a lot of different things. So I remember how I actually cook it when I want to do it the next time. At least I, I it's journalized in a video. So I even do it for myself. So whatever comes of it, at least I know what I'm doing and <laughs> why I'm doing it. But I do appreciate you guys coming. I love you all and have a great week. I'll see you next week, more than likely. Love you. Bye-bye.